You're too good. The Snapback Journey Radio. Snapback Journey Radio. Snapback Journey Radio. Snapback Journey Radio. Presented by Yo Checka TV. With healthy conversations. <laughs> Hosted by Checka C. Hey, Yo Checka. Yeah. Entrepreneurship wasn't really cool a few years ago, right? People didn't really know what that was. They didn't understand. They had grinds. They had like a lot of work ethic, but I truly feel like a lot of people are spending their energy and their efforts in things that's not going to produce the fruit and not going to get results in life. You know, I've had the pleasure to be kind of a Jane of all trades, but a master of none. And what I've learned, you have to be a Jane of all trades, but a master of few. You have to be able to master a few things, you know? So in my journey, I've been a teacher and an actor and a guidance counselor and a private investigator. And I worked in the liquor industry and I was a manager for a spa franchise. I traveled the world for a few years and I've done a lot of different things. But one of the things I realized really through my mentors, they said, a man who chases many rabbits ends with none. Women business entrepreneurs have grown over the last decade, but I think it's still a barrier. I think it's still some stereotypes where men are like, okay, this, you know, like we're looked upon as too aggressive, right? In this, in Absolutely. being a hustler or an entrepreneur. So what do you, what, what do you first and foremost, actually, what do you think about the word hustler? <laughs> you know, I, I love that because I get it. Like, look, I was born in the Bronx. I was raised in the outskirts of, of New York, so in Jersey. Uh, but I've navigated to and from New York, you know, quite often in my life. My father owned the bodega in the Bronx. So, you know, I always liked the word hustler because I was raised around that terminology. Right. So I have a little bit of a, you know, love-love relationship with it versus a love-hate. But as I develop myself, as I cultivated myself, as I refined myself, I realized that word doesn't work in every scenario. And I think one of the things you have to do as a hustler is you have to be adaptable. You have to be willing to adjust. If you're not willing to change, even with your circumstances or your situations or your surroundings, uh, it, you're never going to be able to get to a place in life where you actually feel whole or feel complete or get to a place where you're actually achieving your, your goals or whatever that looks I mean, like. I can't tell you like for just years, you know, being an employee and like trying to build my business on the side was so hard because I was pouring my heart and soul into being an employee, but not, but like lacking on my own business and my own stuff. Right. So talk to me a little bit about that. Like explain to the people your philosophy. <laughs> Your philosophy, really and truly. Well, look, I mean, ultimately, there's a lot of directions I can take this conversation. Ultimately speaking, you know, the the uh, the education system was designed to make people become employees. That's not a secret. I mean, if you look at the foundation of how the education system came about, it was to be able to produce workers and soldiers to do what they, to, to follow the rules, right? And if you look at the classrooms and they're, everyone's sitting in rows, right? And look at the the industrial revolution, how that started with the factory workers. And there's a bell that rings and the bell tells you what to do. And at work, you, you're, you're told when to go to work, when to go to lunch, you know? You're told, so you go through 12 years of school for that, through 12th grade, and then you go through four years for your bachelor's and another two years, you're pretty in tune with how to be the best employee, right? You're looking for security, you're looking for benefits. And look, the average salaries haven't, went, haven't increased since 1999 right? And inflation goes up three and 4%. So you're kind of in a dead system. There's nothing wrong with enjoying your work, but your work doesn't have to be the one thing you identify who you are with. Your right. happiness is attached to results and material things. You get something, you're happy. You get a promotion, you're happy. You get a car, you're happy. It's about being joyful and having constant gratitude. Mm. Gratitude is life is happening. When things are going wrong in your life, when life's happening, you know, to you and you, you have no control over it, you have control over your thoughts, your decisions, how you think, your actions, right? And that's the defining moment. It's about how you think when you're down. Yeah. Get over your shit, like quickly so that you can move on and you can learn and, you know, make a lot of mistakes, fail forward and apply what you've learned. And, and